Send a team out ahead to break them down for the wagon. Mrs. Muskie, your husband could use a little comfort. He killed my daughter. She was his daughter, too. He was only doing what he thought was best, lad. Sometimes things just happen. My baby's dead. Yes. She's dead, but your husband's still alive. The 
burn. Why don't you come over to the fire where it's warm? That thing I said back there, that was a savage thing to do. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He was right. No, man, no right to do a thing like that. But have some coffee. Ooh. No, sometimes a man does foolish things. I've often wondered if a woman really understands the responsibility a husband and father has. But sometimes sheer terror of knowing you haven't done what you should have done for him. Joel more than you've given feeding and clothing and taking care of. Sometimes this life isn't so easy to take care of yourself. But when you love someone, well, that's the load man has to carry. And when things go on bad for a long time, man can do something foolish. I did once. I'll never stop blaming myself any more than you will, John. Or at least you have a wife left. She needs her husband. We're going to need you too, John. We're going to get out of here. This is too tough a trip to carry you dead weight. So, how about coming back to life, huh? Yeah. Guess it's about time. Mr. Hale, that boy back there, Marie, she thought a lot of him. I sure hope he's all right. Somehow I knew I was going to do this. I had only planned on putting out information about the surface audio in the first video and just going through the anomalies in the phone call and not getting into the actual false information that is at the end of the phone call, like the segment where everybody thought it was such a frame for so many years. I kind of fucked up. The difference between you and him is you talk less. Man, I like this kid. This fucking guy's crazy. Somehow I knew I was going to do this. Sure. I had only planned on putting out really information about the surface audio in the first video. And just going through the anomalies in the phone call and not getting into the actual pulsed information that is at the end of the phone call. Like the segment where everybody thought it was it's a frame for so many years. I kind of fucked up. And I said that both what's her age and, and I'm starting to miss them never change and that is false it was what's her age that never changes and the reason why i'm saying that is because there's a huge piece of information that i forgot in the last video and it's so important that i actually have to make another video to add it the original pulse voice that says i'm starting to miss them tweet can turn into something else entirely and it works as sort of a a self-scrambling mechanism. And this is a very, very important piece of information because where the woman says, what's her age? After that, the spot where it says, I'm starting to miss them, it can be tweaked and it says, she's not in the system. And when you slow that down, it is clear as day. So, what's her age? And then the voice says, she's not in the system. Right during this call that should have been cut off, but wasn't. So check this out. So it's pulse. It says, she's not in the system. So I'm going to show you one more version of that. 